Need I say more? Today we're checking out the E6 desk from FlexiSpot. Thanks so much to FlexiSpot for sending me this desk to review. I had been looking for a different sort of desk setup in my studio here. I'll show a picture right now of what the studio used to be. It was literally a piece of cabinet wood that I just sanded down and put some like finisher on. And I literally had it on top of an Ikea A-frame easel thing and then like tubs, like packing tubs for clothes and stuff to put in your basement. Before we dive into the review today, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. On this channel, we talk about tech and we do it from an intentional perspective. So if that sounds cool to you, please consider subscribing and like this video for more. So the biggest things when FlexiSpot reached out, they wanted to talk about their new E6 model because of how strong and sturdy, not just the tabletop itself is, not even just how sturdy the frame is, but how strong the dual motor system is. They say that this desk can lift and lower up to 355 pounds, I did a little testing myself, which I will show now, and I could see it maybe happening, but I think it's a little bit of a stretch personally. All this being said though, I think even lifting my whole body weight of 210 plus pounds is pretty incredible for a desk that you're mostly just gonna be doing work on. It's strong, it's sturdy. I'll show a clip now of me actually comparing bumping into this desk versus my Biflo Tenon, which is like a thousands of dollar desk and i just i think this desk is outshining a lot of others in the market right now i also want to say if you're interested in picking up this desk for yourself there is a link in the description and in the first line of the comments that you can pick yours up for a discounted rate today so let me just read off some of the specs that flexispot sent over for me to share with you all this is the e6 desk the dual motor system they say that the dual motors can effort effort well effortlessly lift up to 355 pounds. I think maybe if you had stationary like a PC or something solid or like maybe a 3D printer or something like that that isn't actually moving like a human is and maybe the weight is a little more distributed, you could get up above 300 pounds, but you kind of saw the speed. Just being honest with this review, you saw the speed this thing has with me sitting on it. I weigh 210 pounds and I'm not lying. Add 10 pounds for my clothes and shoes maybe. I feel like that's a little much, but even still that's 220 pounds and you can see that. It says that it can withstand impacts of 355 pounds over 20,000 times with a tensile strength of 28,000 PSI surpassing even steel in endurance. Right, so again, this is bamboo. It's beautiful. I love it way more than my little makeshift desk that I had before this. I think it looks really nice and I'm really excited for those overhead shots for reviews on this channel. I think this would look good at anyone's like home. I have the black legs that they sent me. There's white legs as well. There's many different tabletops too. You just you don't just have to do the bamboo. They have some darker colors, some lighter colors, some I think maybe even white and black options as well. Maybe even some glass tops for some of their other desk options. So plenty to choose from to make it fit perfectly in your space. However, I feel like this bamboo look could look really great in any space. Some other things I wanna share. So they have a 15 year warranty. Flexispot is confident in that. And that covers the desk frame and motor and two years for the control panel and electronics itself. Finally, we do have our control panel here, which is very simple, very minimal as well. You've got up and down switches you can hold. You've got a sit and stand programmed button too. So I've programmed it to my height when I stand and where I'd like to be when I sit. And there's two other modes, three and four, that you can program as well. So maybe if you have like a an exercise ball you like to sit on, it's a little lower, a little taller than your chair, that could be mode three. Or if you've got a stool you like to sit on that could be mode four that you program each button does light up and have a little circle of light around it so you can see it in a dark room for instance and other than that the desk came with a lot of cable management let me show you really quick so these things right here if you can see that are like game changers for cable management basically there's a sticker you put it up on the bottom you loop your cables through and then you kind of pull it tight almost like a zip tie but you can reuse it the problem I've had with these in the past with desks are the tape isn't that strong and the cables pull it down with gravity. However, these have a hole in the middle, so you can actually screw it up under the desk, which I did, and the packaging, everything comes with screws for this as well, so I have no doubt these will hold. 
They also sent a big roll of this sort of Velcro tape, which I've actually used to hold the cable for plugging it into the wall against the side of the frame. This desk also comes with wheels for the bottom of it. I wouldn't recommend putting that much weight on these wheels. I think the desk can carry that much weight. I don't know about the wheels. Potentially, it's, you know, in their instructions for showing off the strength of this desk, they said, you know, have someone sit on it and then wheel them around. So potentially these wheels can hold that much weight. I'm interested in putting these on the desk just so when I'm not filming, I can slide it up against the wall or if I ever need to move the desk around for different sort of product shots, I would have that availability. And then finally, there's actually this guy, which I'm kind of excited and I haven't figured out where or how I'm gonna use it yet, but just another little cable management thing you stick on there. It can hold charging cables or something like on the edge of the desk so you can pick those up and pull them back. I will say in terms of cable management for like products that you're actually using on the desk, there's not a basket or anything. It's very minimal what the desk comes with. However, I'll link down below the, in the description some baskets you can buy off Amazon for cheap and really help with that cable management on the undercarriage, I guess, of the desk itself and have sort of your cable sliding around the back. I'll say in the Buffalo Tenon and some other desks I've seen before, Artifox is another one. There is a slit in the desk where you can put all your cables down through there nicely. This is just a solid piece of wood. There's no slit for cables, anything like that. You just kind of run them over the back, which up against the wall is fine. And again, if you have that basket underneath, even out in the open like this, even in an office space, that wouldn't look too bad running the cables under and into a nice basket. I will say, you know, being a minimalist and enjoying minimal design, this is as simple as it gets. And I actually really do like just the two legs, super sturdy. All the cables are tucked up nice underneath the desk itself with the provided cable management products here. Simple, they don't have to be crazy. Personally, I am just super excited to use this desk for this YouTube channel. I think it looks really nice. It has that look that I was going for. The bamboo is just such a nice texture and a nice brown color that I was looking for. Plenty of space. This is actually the 72 inch wide model. They come in all various different lengths and sizes and they also have shorter, I think, widths as well, potentially. So pick and choose whatever sizes best fit your space. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, like this video, subscribe if you're new. Check out this video next. I think you're really gonna love it. And I'll see you all in the next one.